Parkway near Michigan Avenue. Drivers attempting unwisely to make it across the water, stuck and stranded. That water is receding, but there are fears we could be in for more flooding tomorrow. Oh boy, 7 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth is tracking storms heading our way right now. But let's go to Dearborn and 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich. And Julie, how is the water looking tonight? Well, Carolyn, it's finally down. It has finally gone down. The freeway is back open. But just a couple of hours ago, amazing what it looked like out here. Vehicles stalled and stranded in water after the Southfield Freeway floods. People who were stuck called friends like Muhammad Ayub for help. Nobody could get to him, and if I could get to him, try my best. But Muhammad couldn't get to his buddy because of this. When he tried to drive down Village Road, the closest point to his friend, he found it flooded for a quarter mile. This is the furthest I got right here. So, and I just told him, you're going to have to walk to me to get to me and so I could get you home. About a half hour later, we found his friend walking down the median. He had to abandon his vehicle. I was driving a minivan. All the cars made it except mine. When I got stuck, another car got stuck on the right of me, and then there was another car, a third car that was floating around in the water. He says that's when he knew it was time to get out of the water. When did you decide to leave your car? When the water started coming in, because then there were semi-trucks that were still trying to squeeze through, and they were pushing the waves, and it was pushing the car. He wasn't the only one who needed help getting out. Go this high. That's where the water came up to on Prashant Krishna's car when he tried to drive down the waterlogged road. Hopefully my car should start when it gets dried up. Water even got in the car and he had to use a cup like a bucket. Friends helped him push out and then they waited for the tow truck and everyone waited for the water to go down. And the tow truck's coming for some of those cars, not until 9 o'clock, so just a few hours ago. Amazing what it looked like out here. And everybody, of course, having to see what will happen tomorrow with their vehicles and car insurance and things like that. And just hoping that they're not going to get more of this tomorrow. We're live from Dearborn, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Wow, a tough go for sure tonight. All right, thanks a lot, Julie.